Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Extreme by True Cornhole. This is a very unique bag and that both these materials are waterproof. So if you play in an area where, if you ever play in an event where it's raining, a little bit of moisture on the boards or high humidity areas where you're dealing with moisture, this Extreme is wonderful. But you got two waterproof materials that play really well in in, in moisture environments. They also play well in dry environments. I, I wanted to do this review in a day that it was raining. I was, I was waiting for a day where it was a little bit of rain to go out there and do the review and show how well this bag played in the rain. But every time it rained right here the last few weeks, it's been storming with just winds and gusts and it just wasn't great to go out and throw in. So I couldn't do that. However, the day that I did go throw it, and you really can't tell here, it had rained earlier in the day and it was really muggy and sticky and humid and there was just a lot of moisture in the air. A lot of bags were slowing down. So it was a great time to throw this bag and, and still see the bag hit and continue to move. So if you live in an area where humidity is an issue or you do go out and play in rain, and I know a lot of people hate or are scared of throwing their bags in the rain, Playing the rain's fun. It's not gonna hurt your bags. Definitely not gonna hurt these bags, but even your other bags, it's not gonna hurt them to get wet. So if you ever get an opportunity to go play a tournament in some rain, go do it. It's really exciting and fun to do. And get yourself a set of extremes when you do that. So you have a bag that'll move while everybody else is, is slowing down. Anyway, let's go ahead and break down these extremes. I'll tell you everything I know about these materials and the bag. We'll start with the slow side. This slow side, again, waterproof material, weatherproof material. It's about a seven speed. It's 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 quick, but still has some control to it, very hole friendly. I think it's the same material that was on the slow side of the 724 Warfare, I believe. So I remember it. I've seen this with a few other bags. I can't recall. This is not a popular material, but it has been out there. I just can't recall exactly what other bags I've seen it on. I'm sure if I if it, when someone tells me, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the one one it is. But I remember it, the 724 Warfare, I'm pretty sure used this on the slow side of it. So this has to be the slow side. Fast side, this is a nine speed material. I think this is the same fast side that True Cornhole uses on the Velocity. I should have checked that before I did this and I forgot. I meant to and I forgot to look at it, but I'm pretty sure it is the same, if not it's very close to it. It's the same fast side that's on the Fly Nemesis, the Reynolds Renegade, the original Renegade used this, the newer Renegade, they changed that. But I think the, the, the previous, prior to this year, they had this material on there. Again, nine speed, it's great for pushing, collecting, cleaning up messes, sliding the boards in a condition, so seven and nine speed on these extremes here template wise uh, one more thing on the, material, on the material as well this bag does have the liner on the inside true cornhole calls it the drip tech liner it's a super slick material they have it on all their bags i've talked about it in some other bags i love the liner if you're a fan of it you're gonna love the the, the way true cornhole puts it in their bags if you haven't played the liner it's a really super slick material on the inside of the slow side and what that does it kind of aids in the whole friendliness of the bag in the sense that when these bags are up near the hole and they're dripping in if you don't have the liner that fills resting against the inside material which can be kind of rough sometimes and the material wants to the film wants to hang up in the material and it stops it from moving when you get this really super slick material you have very little resistance very little friction it allows that fill just to keep moving it slowly causes the bag to cascade and drip in so it just adds ever so slightly an extra bit of whole friendliness to the bags which which makes a difference to some degree you know extra one two percent a, a, a difference on bags but that little bit can be enough to make the difference between winning or losing in the game and i love i just love that extra bit i love the way the bags feels it gives a little bit more fullness to the bag and the hand feel but you still get the flop around the further forgiveness of the flop on the playability so i love the liners if you haven't tried one get a set of true cornhole bags or some of the bags that have it as well and check them out i think you're going to love it as much as i do but anyway has the drip check liner in these extremes the template on here medium template bag the it's a medium amount of flop so you've got flop it is not overly floppy in this bag at all i think it's like right down the middle a good sweet spot for most people the fill in here is a mixed fill love the fill the true corners using here i'm always a fan of a mixed fill so the bag has some forgiveness to it but it also has some movement if you do want to shape some shots you can kind of do it with this bag really well so love the fill they're using in here these bags are aco stamps you play an aco events you can throw the extremes let's go ahead and jump in and talk more about the playability of the bag and as i mentioned great for moisture waterproof materials if you play in high humidity you play in rain you're going to love these bags that's where they really shine even on dry boards they play really well it's kind of that fast faster bag to me it's designed for those whole running style game you're not really throwing a lot of blockers with this bag you can for those of you who have that higher arc softer throw you can slow this material down and put a blocker up there and if you do the bags are full enough very easy to come through and clip a corner and collect. I had no problem whatsoever collecting them. If I left a bag hanging by any chance, very easy the next bag coming down, just gonna clip it and grab it and, and take it in. I didn't have to get too aggressive. If I did have to go after a bag, I had enough that I could throw a little bit of a cut with this bag. Because, you know, this material is a little quicker on the on the slow side, but there's enough movement in this bag and this fill 
that I was able to come across with a slight cut, grab it, and pull it in, or if I had a blocker strike, I kind of cut and spin it. And even if I didn't take it in, I get it there for the next bag or get it more in my opponent's way to make them have to work around it. So you do have some movement with this bag for shot shaping, cuts, rolls, flops. You have to be kind of that above average to advanced level to do it. If you're if you're average or below average, probably not the best bag to be trying on. But if you have that shot in your arsenal, you can definitely do it with these extremes. Again, probably not what it's designed for. It's designed more for running bags in the hole. You've had enough speed on the fast side that if your opponent's throwing blockers, you can push through them or obviously airmail over them. It is a good get around bag. There's enough flop here that, you know, you can kind of sneak around those blockers, grab that hole, spin around and pull it back in. So it does give you some options out there. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're looking to play a little bit of a, a variety of a game, you have that. But again, the speed of the bags, the whole finish of the bags, you're really designed more to just run bags in the hole. To me, that's how I would play this. That's where it shines. And you know, if you're playing in those moisture environments and you're looking for a bag, a lot of people ask me all the time, hey, I, I, right now it's summertime, humidity is an issue. I get people all the time, hey, what's a good bag to play in humidity? These extremes are probably one of the best bags you're going to find out there to throw because they're, they're these materials are not going to absorb the moisture. They're going to repel the moisture, so they don't absorb it. The, typically, the problem with a lot of the polyester materials out there, which is the non-carpet materials, is they soak that moisture up. It gets in there, kind of swells the material up, and they, they, just, they just slow down and come almost to a stop. This, this These two materials are going to repel that moisture. They're not going to absorb it up, which means you can get by with throwing. You know, you can throw them in those conditions, and they don't really slow up. In fact, I found a little bit as well enough moisture on the board it actually even maybe speeds up a little bit for you plays a little bit quicker out there so for those of you who like a faster bag and you play in those conditions you're gonna love the extreme the, the one knock i don't say it knock the one negative i would say maybe the, the i would nitpick this bag is because they're waterproof materials they have a little bit of a different feel to them right some people are not going to like the feel they're not as soft as a polyester or the polypropylene carpet materials can get or even those hybrid materials not quite as soft as those it has a little bit of a different feel so it, it can get a little bit sometimes i don't want to say sticky but it can get a little bit of a weird feel to it at times especially when my hands start getting sweaty it does seem to feel a little bit different than i would with a normal bag out there again i'm nitpicking here most people probably won't care about it but some of you will some of you who really love that soft feeling bag you're gonna have a little bit of a di different texture so texture is an issue to you just be aware of that i don't think it's a big deal again it, it, if you if you know what a waterproof material feels like you know kind of you, you'll kind of understand what this feels like if not give it a try i mean the bags are, are very reasonably priced so it's worth taking a chance on it and it, it's like it's not a bag you're probably throwing all the time it's a bag you're pulling out in certain conditions that other bags you have don't work this is really a, a situational bag but when you need it it's a great bag for that situation and it's going to play better than most other bags out there. So if you play the conditions you're looking for, definitely check out the extreme. Leaves me an availability. True Cornhole has a website, truecornhole.com. Link down description for you guys as always. These bags were $69.99, so 70 bucks for a set. It was $13 shipping, so $83 shipped to you. It's not a price for an ACO stamp bag. Really kind of on that lower price point. I think you're going to like them. High quality bags. I've been a fan of True Cornhole and the bags they make. I'm a big fan of this Drip Tech liner they use. Again, I, I love the fact they put it in all their bags. I don't see a downside to it. So if, you, if you're if you a fan of their liner like I am, you definitely want to check out True Cornhole. If you haven't checked out that liner yet, get yourself a set. I think you will be as pressed as I am with them. If you've thrown these extremes, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them, your feedback. Drop a comment down below. Always love hearing your guys' opinions. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.